ever known. I remain optimistic and with the right kind of leadership that we all need to work to make sure happens, America's best days are ahead. With strong conservative leadership, Republicans can win the White House and we can get back to being in the ver verge of having the greatest time to be alive. And that's what I honestly believe, and I know you do as well. I look forward to working you to make that dream come true. I will do it as a private citizen, just as you are. Thank you for the opportunity to run for the greatest office on the face of the earth. I love you all. God bless you. In a speech that was gracious, humorous, and yes, emotional, Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush suspends his campaign for the presidency. With Dick Morris here at the Anchor Desk, J.D. Hayworth, in our final nine minutes of our coverage, we are rejoined from Newsmax New York by Steve Malsberg, from Newsmax Washington by Bree Payton, and uh, by telephone with Michael Reagan. Uh, first to you, Dick Morris, your reaction to the, uh, the Jeb Bush suspension tonight. Well, it's, um, I'm glad he did. It certainly clarifies the field. I think it's going to help Rubio, though, because most of his votes, I think, will go to Rubio. Um, and with half of the vote in now, it's a dead-even tie between Cruz and Rubio. Now, some of the counties that are not really counted yet are rural South Carolina counties, which go a little more for Cruz than for Rubio. So there might be some distance opening up, but I think it's very unlikely that that gap will be significant enough to make this a two-way race. And with Bush out, that support may well go to Rubio, and that may well give him an important advantage as the race unfolds. But it is worth noting that whenever your political appeal is based on your ability to win, it's based on the wind, <laughs> because it can blow back and forth. When it's based on telling it like it is, like Trump's is, or sharing my values like Cruz's is, it's fairly solid and it's not really going anyplace. All right, well, someone who is not going anywhere but who is joining us, we understand, is Matt Towery, who is the CEO of Insider Advantage. Uh, he is with us via Skype tonight from Atlanta. Uh, Matt, you've seen what has transpired, your reaction to both the uh, Bush uh, exit from the campaign and the Trump victory tonight. Well, I've been watching. I agree with just basically everything Dick is saying. Um, the, the Rubio uh, surge, which took place after Nikki Haley came out and endorsed him, is going to put him in a three-person race now, effectively. And I agree with Dick as well that uh, most of the Bush supporters uh, who are viewed as quote-unquote establishment Republicans, they're going to drift in the direction of Rubio. Uh, so that's certainly going to make it very interesting as we go into the, the primaries that will be taking place this next week, which includes, of course, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Oklahoma, a lot of southern states all at one time that, that, that plan to be voting. So we're going to have to see, um, you know, obviously how big this uh, carries over when we do the first polling beginning of the week. But I, I, I tend to think that Dick is right. We've got a three person race. And um, I expect Trump to do well in those states that I just listed. Now, Massachusetts, some of the other states, I, I can't tell you. Virginia, Dick might know better than me. I don't have a good handle on Virginia right now. But in these, in these states that are in the Deep South, we'll see Trump coming in first place unless something changes. Cruz uh, will, will be challenged a bit because Rubio may actually pick up some of the establishment vote. So that could be a very close battle between the, those two, unless something changes because we well, only have a week to go. Let me turn to uh, to Bree Payton, who is at uh, Newsmax Washington, since the District of Columbia is right there next to the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, your take not only about what may happen in Virginia, but but Bree, how long do you think it'll be before Jeb Bush decides to throw his support, in fact, to his fellow Floridian, one-time protege, Marco Rubio? Do you think that is in the cards and might happen fairly quickly? I think we'll have to wait and see uh, when that does happen. Um, but I think it's likely that he will be throwing his support behind Rubio. And I think it totally makes sense that a lot of um, the Jeb supporters would swing in the direction of Marco Rubio. Um, as I said earlier, I think Jeb's announcement just now kind of reconfirms what I was saying about how this is the end of the Bush era. So going in forward into Virginia, I could see Rubio doing pretty well with the support of um, Jeb Bush, or even with him pulling out, I could see him doing pretty well too. Ted Cruz, I could see doing really well in the southern portion of the state. And Trump is, as always, kind of a wild card in terms of how well he will do.